the real root behind the ability to be an animal communicator is to be still within yourself. If you're not still within yourself, it's very hard to hear the thoughts of another being or the feelings of another being because your thoughts get in the way. When I see an animal, for me, it means that I'm looking at another conscious being. I believe that they are their own nation and that we share this planet with them. I don't just see a cat or a dog or a horse and how they can serve me. For me, it's how can I serve this animal kingdom that's there. That's my job, to be their advocate and to be their voice. When I work with an animal, I work from the top down. So when an animal expresses a physical problem like arthritis or cancer or bad teeth, a physical problem always starts in the mental, emotional or spiritual layers. So I get a full picture of what's going on for any animal. What I would say is when you ask me to work with your animals, it's really important to have a genuine intention because this type of work is fueled and powered by good intentions. It can be because they're sick, it can be because there's a problem, or it can be because you want to deepen your relationship with them. Because I work using indigenous healing practices that I learned from Mongolian shamans, and because I also work with flower essences and homeopathy, all of this is tapping into the natural inherent healing power of the planet of nature. For me, when I see an animal heal, and then I get pictures and photos and videos, I mean, there's nothing better than that. That's what makes me get up in the morning time. It's the best job in the world.